What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Jack Skellington from Disney's Mirrorverse. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me today. For today's tutorial, we're gonna need a sketch pad and a pencil. I'm gonna start my drawing off with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick, but you're welcome to use whatever you'd like. Now, I always like to start my sketches off with a rough sketch first before we get into the details. So let's start by setting this up with some guidelines. We we'll start with a straight line coming down the center of our page. Let's start from the very top in the middle. Just gonna lightly work our way down the center. And this will help us balance out our drawing. Now we're going to place the head along the bottom and the hat along the top half. So let's start down here, draw a straight line going across from left to right. Now I want to block out the basic shape of the head, which is an oval. So I'm going to use these two lines to help us create that. From the center, let's move up to right about here, mark off the top of our oval. Now I want to measure this distance from that center point down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now the marks along the side are going to be wider out. So we'll measure this from the center out towards the left and go even further out. Mark that off. Let's take that distance over towards the right. Now I want to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create that oval. So we'll start with the top left. And this oval doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement along the bottom half of our page. And we'll just go back and just smooth this out. Let's add another guideline coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left, coming down towards the bottom, and we'll just stretch that all the way up towards the top. We just want to make sure that the distance up here is the same across the bottom. Now with our oval and guidelines in place, let's start blocking on the main facial features. I want to start by adding a gap in between the eyes. So from that center point, let's move over towards the left, right about here, draw a straight line coming down, extend it up towards the top, and it's going to pull that all the way down towards the bottom. Let's take that same distance over towards the right. And these lines are also going to help us line up the neck. From these two points here, let's curl up the brow, coming in and then up. Let's go back down towards the bottom, bend the eyelid, going up and then out towards the left, and right side. Now from the ends, we're going to step back in, draw the bottom of the eye, come all the way around, almost like drawing a half circle. And I'm just going to pull that in towards the inside of the brow. And then on the right, you want to come down towards the same height. So I'm just going to draw a line going across from the left. So I'm aligning this and go back up on the right side. Let's go back to the center. We're going to draw a small triangle to help line up the nose. We're going to come down and out toward the left and right and flatten off the bottom. Now with the mouth, it's going to start along the outside of the eye. So right up here, curve the mouth coming down. Go across in between the nose and the chin and then pull that back up on the right side. Now we can go up a little bit higher if we like on the other side. Now this version of Jack Skellington has this large top hat with candles lined around the brim. So let's start with the edge of the hat brim. In between the brow, we're just going to bring the hat down to right about here. So we're just going to mark this off. I want to clip off the top edge of the eye. So we're going to bend this across, go past that line on the side, and then up. Let's just mirror this over on the right side, going up towards the top right, towards the same height. Now for the back of the hat, we're just going to dip this down, come in on top of the oval, and then back up. Now if these curves aren't high enough, we just raise that up and dip that down in the center. Let's draw the top of the hat. I want to start halfway between the center line and the left side, right about here. Draw a straight line coming down. Let's extend this all the way up towards the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with that halfway point, go all the way up. Now right where the brim meets that line, it's going to curve the hat coming down, and then back up. Now from here, we're going to go all the way up towards the top of our page, right about here, from the left and right line, curve the hat going up, and then down. Now the hat gets wider as you go up towards the top. We're also going to see the top edge of the hat. So going back to the left side, bend this across and down, and then back up. Now from the side, we just want to bend this in, and then back down towards the bottom. Now 
Now along the base of the hat, there's four candles. So let's start with the base with an oval. On the left side, we're gonna draw a small oval going around, back up. Let's go all the way over towards the right side and draw that same size oval. Now we're gonna add two more on either side. So on the left, draw that small oval. We're gonna go a little bit smaller because this is pushed out in the back. Now I just wanna draw the general shape of the candles. From the outside of the oval, I'm just gonna angle this up towards the top and just flatten that off. Let's go to the one on the left in the front. And just work our way across towards the right. And I just wanna capture the right shape and size. Let's add a little bit more detail to the body. We're gonna start with the base of the neck, starting on the left, then it's down and in towards the center, towards the point. Then we're gonna capture the general shape and size of the collar, starting on the left side, bend this down and in towards the middle. Now there's a jacket collar that comes out along the side. So we start right where the head meets the collar, going up and out. Now I just wanna bend that up towards the tip of the collar. Bend this down and in toward the line along the side. And we'll curve that back in and then down. Now there's that large collar that comes out from the back of the head. So let's start on the left side. We're gonna bend this up and then down toward the side. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Let's move up to the top of the hat. This collar is going to get narrower as it comes down and then out towards the side. Now it's going to curl the collar back in along the bottom. So let's start on the left, coming down and in. Curl this around and out. I just want to bend that back down towards the bottom. From here, it's going to bend this out and up. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. So we start by bending this down and in. Curl this up and then out. Come back down towards the bottom and then back out towards the side. Now that we have a rough sketch in place, we're going to go back and erase some of these guidelines. Once we're happy with the rough sketch, we're going to use this as a guide to help us layer on some more details and refine the shapes. Now I want to start with the overlapping area first, which is the hat brim. We're going to start from the outside. I'm just going to add a little bit more shape. Just bending this across. Just adding some folds. And we can always dip it down on one side and then back up. So just lightly sketching this out. And we're working our way in towards the inside of the hat. Now that we have that done, we're gonna go back and just add some more detail to the eyes. Starting with the brow. With this, we're also adding a little bit more shape to the eyes. Now I wanna add a little bevel along the outside. So I'm just gonna step out, draw a little trim coming around. And then we want to separate the nose with those two nostrils. We're just going to stay within that triangle. Start with the left nostril and then the right. Now let's draw in the mouth. Start from the outside. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfectly smooth curve. I actually prefer to give it a little bit more shape. Up toward the top and then we'll add those stitch lines. And with these stitches, we can add a couple that are closer together, adding some wider gaps in between. Now with the head working our way around. Now with the collar, we're gonna stay within this boundary and add some fur texture. So let's start on the side of the neck. I'm just gonna pull this up and then out from the base. Just adding a little bit of texture going out and around. Now as you come in towards the center, I'm just gonna bend this down and then in. Let's go to the outside. We're just gonna add these points, bending the fur. Again, 
as we come down towards the bottom, we're going to start to bend this in. Now I'm going to demonstrate with one of these candles how to add some more detail. So we're just going to wrap some of that rope around the base. So we're going to widen this out, go up to right about there, close this off. Now I'm just going to loosely add a rope texture inside, just going across. And we want to go wider along the top of the candle. Starting from the base, just going up and out. And we want to drip that wax coming down. So we're going to come down. on the top. Add the wick in the center. It's going to bend this up and out and we'll add that flame. Now I want to repeat that same process across the rest of these three candles. So we'll start along the base. Just loosely adding that rope. Then the candle going up towards the top of the wax. And just drip that wax across the top. I'm also going to change the shape along the top. I'm just going to dip this down on the left and then pull that back up on the right. Now let's go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we add in our contrast. Now I'm going to switch to a thicker pencil. This is my 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil. And we're using this to add some more contrast and some thick and thin lines. So adding some thick lines across the base just to help give our drawing some weight. And then just fading that in towards areas where we think there might be a little bit of a highlight. And in this case, it would be the front center on the top of the hat. And then just working our way down. Now at any point, we can always modify the shapes if we need to. So I'm just going to work my way down towards the candle and then come back up. So I'm just going to get some shape across the ropes along the side. You can probably notice that I faded the tip of the flame along the top just to make it look like it's vanishing out, sort of fading out. Going a little bit heavier across the bottom.
add some thickness to that mouth. This fur, we're just layering the front on top of the back point. Now I'm going to go and start adding our various tones, starting with the dark areas inside the eyes. Clean up. Now I'm going to move to the side edge of my two millimeter pencil and add a little bit of soft shadow. So this hat's going to cast a shadow across the top of the head. So start on the left side. It's going to go off a little bit darker along the top and then gradually fade that down. And we'll go in between the eyes in the center and then the right side. The head's also going to cast a shadow across the top of the neck. So we're going to darken that up. And slowly fade that down. Now with the light source, you want to imagine that it's coming down from the top of the head. So all the shadows will sit on the opposite side of the light with the highlights along the top. So that cast a little bit of shadow along the bottom edge of the nose. Now by adding these shadows, it's going to add a little bit more form to the head, to these shapes. I want to give the impression that the head is rounded along the bottom. So I'm just going to darken this up and then fade that up. So we're just pushing the bottom of the head back in. And again, we're just going to fade that up towards the mouth. Also, a little bit of shadow just along the top edge of the mouth. Again, to just help push this back in towards the stitches. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow across the top of the collar and then fade that down. A 
light tone from those ropes across the base of the candles. Now I want to wrap that candle around, so I'm just going to add a soft shadow along the side and just fade that in towards a highlight in the middle. Let's add a light tone to the rest of the collar. Go back and just lightly add some stripes to the hat and a little bit more detail to the rest of the body. Now I'm just going to go back and add some minor details. Start by adding some thickness to the front edge of the hat brim. So you see I have a few thick and thin lines coming across and then just going back into some thick lines. And this will help give the illusion of some highlights hitting the top edge. I'm just going to go back and just darken that up. A little bit darker along the base of the hat, going in between the candles, and we'll just fade that up. And we also want to add a shadow across the base of the candles, and then just go out towards the bottom. It's almost like the light is actually catching the bottom and fading that out. So adding a little bit of a core shadow on the left side of the candles just to enhance the shape. So we're just setting that in. So we have a little bit of a highlight on the left side. I'm just going to fade that out as we go out towards the right. And also add that core shadow on the left side of the hat. Again, adding a little bit of a highlight along the side, and then fading that out as you go over towards the right side. We're also going to do the same thing on the right.
Now I also want to cast a shadow from the head over towards the right side. So this hat is going to cast a shadow across the collar. I'm just going to add a little curve, darken up the inside, and then fade that out towards that line. I'm going to step down, add another shadow line, darken up the inside, and then fade that out. Also do the same thing across the bottom of the collar. Now as we get closer to the end, I'm just going to tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Jack Skellington from Disney's Mirrorverse. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. What's up everyone and welcome to our club memberships. Are you ready to take your art skills to the next level? Well, I've got something special just for you. Introducing our channel membership, starting at only $1 per month. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you'll get exclusive access to a world of bonus features and perks that will enhance your journey with me. As a member, you'll be treated to brand new weekly tutorials that are available only to our valued members. Want to learn the latest techniques and dive deeper into the topics I cover? This is your chance. You'll also gain access to our member-only community feed where you can connect with fellow members, share your progress, and participate in exclusive polls. Your voice matters and I want to hear from you. And let's talk about the perks. You'll receive a set of custom chat emojis to use during our live streams and premieres, adding a personal touch to your interactions with me. Plus, you'll proudly showcase your support with special member badges that highlight your dedication. As a member, you'll get access to future perks I roll out. I'm constantly working behind the scenes to bring you even more exclusive content, surprises, and experiences. So join our channel membership today and become a part of our exclusive community. For just $1 per month, you'll unlock a world of premium content, engagement, and fun. Click that join button now and let's embark on this exciting journey together.